Yo, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another reaction. Uh, today, we're reacting to Jesse Lee Peterson goes off on angry caller. Please be sure to hit the like button. Please be sure to uh, follow the channel. And also, I go live Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. Central Time exclusively on Rumble. It's a free speech platform. Click on the link. It's the first line down in the description. Come over and just come see what it's about. Come follow my channel and uh, maybe hang out. Let's go. Because you suffered at the hands yourself. of your mother. People, my mother was a great woman. <laughs> no, she wasn't. You, you, she was you? No, your mother was you, not. You're trying to bring some anger about right now. Because no, I'm you, not. you obviously have some mental health issues. Your you mother say, was... What... Here we go. <laughs> Hell issues. to pay, and you become you know just what? like her. <laughs> Anita, thank you uh, oh, for no. holding you on the air. Yes, okay. I didn't call to attack you, Mr. Jackson. Okay, as a black man, I just personally feel that the message that you are sending uh, to Americans in, in general uh, is not one that is going to be, that is helpful uh, as to, I, I'm trying to figure out if you are here to help the country as a whole to, you know, the, with this division of, that we have already. We have Trump who's in office now. I, I, I'm assuming that you're uh, Trump uh, uh promoter that you actually promote the other things that he's doing even yes, though i i, I call I him the great the man. i call mm -hmm. him the great white hope <laughs> okay but my message my question to you sir is what type of resolution you said the black uh, woman uh that we're to blame for these uh black men out here trayvon and so on and so forth that they're thugs and this and that and the other because they're having multiple babies by uh all this um, out of wedlock, and a lot of that is true, but um, the statistics are both ways, maybe more so with the black women. My question to you, um, as, as we know, slavery was many, many hundreds of years ago. What uh, at the black communities went through there, there and, of course, we also have uh, the Jews who went through this and that and the other. Everyone has had some kind of devastation to their um, race. What type of but what type of um, hope? What, what what type of oh my God! What what was given to the blacks to help them, uh, you know, uh, get past that? What type of counseling, if any? You know, I forget the mules and the, the land that was promised uh, after the <laughs> devastation. The families were broken uh, by the white man or whatever by man. Period. What type of resolution was given to these people who suffered? I mean, of course they're have issues because the family was doomed. Um, it was separated many, many years ago, and there was no help because they all the devastation that was from their ancestors that obviously passed on to their children and to their children. So do Yo, you expect these people to... Can we get, like, a comma or something? I mean, can she, like... Just be well, and, and um, these black families to be, you know... Um, you know, have it all together, old money, this and that, when they had nothing to start with. Anita, what's your question? My question <laughs> to you is why are you sitting there and acting as though uh, blacks are the cause of all these problems in the, in, 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 the, in the world today? Why are you making it, instead of you, when you, men of, black men like yourself have a platform where they can cause, help people as a whole, not just blacks bring some type of unity, so what's you're your bringing question? division because you're, 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 your words are so sh shockingly, just basically, you're just oh, <laughs> angry at the black man. That's what it seems like, at the black people as a whole. What is your message? Are you there? You sound very illiterate because you, 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 you speak as though, you, well, then you, you shouldn't be on the platform that you're at. Why not? I'm so angry. My words are stumped because you make no sense because you're giving nothing but more prejudice and hate. That's what you're spreading. That's what you're bringing is diversity. You're bringing, not diversity, division, excuse me. No, we're what are you saying to empower it. people? What are your recommendations to empower people okay. who are in that situation that you're saying that the blacks are thugs and this and that? What about the white thugs? Okay, let me respond. Calm down. Please do. <laughs> uh, what you might not realize is that <laughs> prior to the civil rights movement, <laughs> he said, calm down. over 60 years ago now, that most black people were a moral people. They loved what was right. For the most part, they got married. They were uh, less than 10% of black children born out of wedlock. Black people were working hard. They owned land. They didn't have black leaders using them and blaming them in order to gain power and wealth for themselves. 
for the most part, black Americans believed in God. When I was growing up, they believed in God. And this was under the Jim Crow law and all those things. And once the civil rights movement started with Jesse Jackson and Martin Luther King and all those people, um, uh, Martin Luther King wanted black people to stay in the condition of love and don't hate and be more than upright people so they can be judged by the context of character and not color. But once he was assassinated, uh, the race hustlers like uh, John Lewis and Jesse Jackson and the rest of the so-called civil rights leaders, they took a message of love. Let him get it out, him. He's fine. <laughs> What's up, Bowser? How's your day going, my man? And turn it into hate so that they can control black people. And the government became the daddy under Lyndon B. Johnson. And so the Democratic Party gathered... You're making a lot of noise in the background. No, I'm sitting in my jacket. Uh, Go ahead. I apologize. The uh, Democratic Party gathered the black people and said, hey, come live with us. We're going to take care of you. You, 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 you. you can't make it because of racism. You don't need to get married. We'll take care of your children for you. And black people fell away from God. And it's been downhill for them ever since. Sir, I, you know, I hear what you're saying because I'm no great, uh, great uh, supporter of Jesse Jackson and all those others. I, I think some of them are just pure opportunists. My point to you is you say 50 years. 50 years is nothing compared to all the suffering that blacks have went through. And you're saying, and, and as far as Martin Luther King, yes, he was a great man, but he also had some trash in his past, too. Now, my point is that. You're saying 50 years that 50 to 60 since we years lost ago. the leader. And the, um, only just, suffering, uh, the only suffering blacks have done is from their single mother. Are the, you serious? The only suffering? Within the last sir, 60 years. Sir, you, you, you are aware of Mr. Lynch, right? Lynch, Bill Lynch, am I right? Who taught the, the slave owners how to break a nigger and so on and so forth. Those things impacted blacks from Anita. generations and generations. You're talking about suffering. Anita. Our black babies were was Anita. thought to be nothing more than uh, the blood of the black babies were sold to, to make the white man's uh, crop, uh, um, crops uh, uh, grow healthy. Are you <laughs> Bro, usually I, I, I stop and talk, but this is like, I don't know what to, I don't, I don't know what to do with this conversation. Like, this is, she's she's going off, bro. There is, we didn't Anita, suffer. Anita, they are you're making a fool out of you. You're because you know what? You're sitting there and you're, 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 you're using you, the opportunity and the platform that you have to create more hate. Yes, you can hang up on me at any time. She needs to, she, she Anita, read a book. <laughs> Anita. Because you are the worst thing that we could ever have as a leader. Someone representing black people. Leader. You're bringing more Anita division. Get laid. You're bringing more division and hatred than ever. And with that, I say, you know what? You... I hope you sleep well at night. Anita, because what you're there's causing no such thing as a will and let's anger, letter. more or anger. You need to go get some more uh, uh, formal education before Anita. you get on TV and, and, and open your mouth as, <laughs> as, as literate as you are, because I am a college graduate. Anita, Anita, baby, honey, please relax. It's not that serious. <laughs> And I know I damn well tell. if I was on the platform and had the opportunity as you, I wouldn't cause hatred among blacks and whites. I would try to bring Obama together did that. unity. And that's not what you're doing. You're talking about we didn't suffer. Black people suffered and we're still suffering because you of people You suffered at the hands your of self. your mother. People, my mother was a great woman. <laughs> no, she wasn't. You, 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 you? No, your mother was you, you're not. You're trying to bring some anger about right now. Because no, I'm you, not. you obviously have some mental health issues. Your you, mother I don't know was hell to pay. And you become you know just what? like her. <laughs> you can have a good day, because I was going to say some very bad so. words and kiss my <laughs> black ass. Oh, yeah, I told you. <laughs> you cannot be cursing our air. Isn't that something? <laughs> <laughs> my favorite... <laughs> my favorite thing is that he, he just sits there the whole time, and he's just like this. <laughs> Bro, Jesse's wild, dude. Listen, I'll, I'll, I've said this ad nauseum at this point, but look, slavery happened, okay? But it wasn't, it wasn't, but it wasn't some evil plan by white people against black people. It just wasn't, okay? Uh, there was, a, there was, there's been slavery, slavery and slave trades going on for thousands of years. It's how things got, it's how things got done. It's how things got built. 
you know, there was uh, Africa was trading uh, slaves with 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 uh, with uh, uh, Arab countries, and then they were selling him. Then they were selling them to the the American uh, to America over here. And yeah, look, it sucks. Slavery is not good. It's, it's it's bad when people are slaves. Okay, but it happened. But it wasn't some. It's not some like contrived thing by the evil white man to. You know, it happened. And by the way, by the way, here's here's one thing that, that they never talk about. Among other reasons, we had a civil war in this country to get rid of slavery. I mean, there were other issues going on, you know, states' rights and stuff like that. But uh, but uh, slavery was a part of that. And a lot of white men died trying to um, trying to end things like slavery. Okay. We've moved past it. Yeah, there's Jim Crow and all that. All that's bad. But at some point, at some point, you have to move on. You know, I use this analogy. You know, this whole thing with ripping the Band-Aid off every year, Black History Month, slave this, slave that. Okay, it's fine. It's like, okay, here's the analogy I like to use. That's like, it's like if I'm a girl and I get beat up on by a boyfriend, all right? And then I leave the boyfriend. I say, fuck you, I'm out of here. Okay. And then once a year, I go back just to get my ass kicked again, just to remember how it felt. <laughs> I go back. Hey, Brian, can you kick my ass again? Because it's important that I remember how it felt to have my ass kicked by you. <laughs> it's like, no, at some point you got to, you, you got to, you got to actually move on. Right. <laughs> I mean, come on. See you guys.